is now i am going to share my screen and we are going to start with the reading as well as trying to understand the meaning of the chapter akshat i hope you have got the meaning of the text up till now that where were we yes ma'am okay so page number 76 top of the page we are going to start today's class yes harshit yes ma'am i'm displaying page number 76 uh, just a minute and yes uh, please read from the top of the page yes it was 910 the governor switched on the receiver he had instructed jackson to tell evans of the temporary little precaution that was only fair as if evans would not wouldn't spot it but wasn't it all a bit uh, theatrical uh, theatrical theatrical cool boyish almost how on earth was evans going to ma'am thoda zoom kar do ma'am acha just a minute i thought you were reading it from a book just a minute Fine. Thank you. How on earth was how on earth was Evans going to try anything on today? If he was so anxious to make another break, why is heaven named hadn't he tried it from the <coughs> recreational block? <coughs> Much easier. But he had, but he hadn't, and there he was now, sitting in a log cell, all the prison officer. on the alert two more lock doors between his cell and the yard and the yard with a wall as high as a haystack yes evans was a safe as houses anyway it wouldn't be any trouble at all to have the receiver turned on for the next couple of hours or so it was not <clears throat> as if there was going to be anything to listen to was it amongst other things an invigilator duty was to ensure that the strictest silence was observed But, but still, that uh, little nagging doubt <clears throat> might Evans try to take advantage of McLeary, get him, uh, get him to smuggle in a side or two or a rope ladder, or the governor sat up sharply, was all very well getting rid of any potential weapon. Then Evans could have used, but what about McLeary? What if quite unwittingly the हम स्क्रॉल कर दें हां जस्ट अ मिनट हम डायनोसॉर मैक्लेरी हैड ब्रॉट इन समथिंग हिमसेल्फ अ जैक नाइस परहैप्स एंड व्हाट इफ वांस हेल्ड हिम हॉस्टेज विद सच अ वेपन द गवर्नर रीच फॉर द फोन इट वाज 9:12 एएम द एग्जामिनर एंड द इनविजिलेटर हैड ऑलरेडी बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय स्टीफेंस व्हेन जैक्सन came back and introduced uh, shouted to mcleary through the cell door can you come outside a minute so you to stephen jackson quickly explained the governor's worries and uh, mcleary patiently held out his arms and shoulder level wistfully jackson lightly pressed his clothes something hard here sir uh, ma reading glasses uh, replied mcleary looking down at the spectacle case jackson quickly reassured him and uh, bending down on the landing thumb flicked the catches on the suitcase he he picked up each envelope in turn carefully passed in palms along their surfaces and seemed satisfied he rifled curiously through a few pages of holy writ and vaguely shook uh, vaguely shook the church times all right so far but one of the object in mcleary suitcase was puzzling him Sorry. Do you mind telling me why you have brought this? Sir, he held up a smallish, semi-inflated rubber ring, such as a young child with a waist of uh, about 12 inches might have struggled into. You thinking of going for some, sir? The query. Height. Either two. Either two. Either two. Mabel Demenor was slightly ruffled by this uh, tasteless little pleasantry, and he answered. Jackson somewhat sorely if you must know uh, if you must know i suffer from uh, hemorrhoids 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 when i am sitting down for any lengthy o time very sorry sir i didn't mean to hear the embarrassment was still rendering jackson cheeks when he found the paper knife at the bottom of the case i think i had better keep this through 
if you don't mind that is sir it was 9:18 am before the governor heard their voices again it was clear that his examination was going to be more than a little late in getting under way mcleary you have got the watch advance yes sir i will be telling you, telling you when to start and again when you have five Just a minute. I'm sorry. I will be telling you uh, when to start and again you have uh, and when when you have five minutes left. All right. Uh, silence. There's plenty. Uh, plenty more. Uh, this writing paper should should be. Uh, should you need it? Silence. Now write the name of the paper. Zero two one one in the top left hand corner. In the top right hand corner, write your index number three one three, and in the box just below that, write your center number two seven one. Or write. Okay, Harshit, stop. Mohit, read. Mohit. Yes, ma'am. Silence. Nine twenty a.m. McClary, I'm go. I'm not going. I'm not going to advance. He is not joined to say there is E. McClary, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, Stephens, Mr. Jackson's given me strict instructions. Advance. How am I supposed to concentrate on my exam with someone breathing down my neck? Just sorry, sir. I didn't mean. The governor reached for the phone. Jackson, ah, good, good. Stephen, uh, get the Stephens out of that cell with you. Will you? I think they were perhaps overdoing things. As your wish, sir. The governor heard the ex exchanges in the cell, heard the door clang once more, and heard McClary announces that examination has begun at last. It was nine twenty-five a.m., and there was a great calm. At nine forty a.m., the examination board rang through the, rang through. And the assistant secretary, with the special responsibility for modern languages, asked to speak to the governor. Governor, the examination has already started, no doubt. Ah, a quarter of an hour ago. Yes. Well, there was a correction slip which some fool had forgotten to place it place in the examination package. Very brief. Could the governor please? Yes, of course. I'll put you straight through the. Uh, through to mix, uh, Mr. Jackson's in D wing. Hold the line a minute. Was this sort of thing the governor had fe feared? Was the phone call a fake? Some signal? Some secret message? But he could check on the uh, he he could check on that immediately. He dialed the number of the examinations board, but he heard only the stacco bleeps of a line engaged. But then the line was engaged, wasn't it? Yes. Not very intelligent. That the two minutes later he heard some whispered communications in the cell, and then Miss uh, and then McLeary's board uh, board Scott by voice. Will we uh, will will we please stop writing? Will you please stop writing while Mr. Uh, Mr. Evans and listen carefully. Candidates offering German zero two one one should note the following correction on the page three. Line fifteen. The fourth word should read "golden" and "golden," 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 and not "golden." And the whole phrase will therefore read "zam golden," "lawin," and "zam golden," "lawin." I will repeat that. The governor listened and smiled. He had taken German in the sixth from himself, and he remembered all the arguments of adject uh, adjectives, and so did McClary, by the sound of things. For the minister's pronunciation was most impressive, but what about Evans? He probably don't know. He didn't know what an adjective was. The phone rang again. The magistrate's court. They needed a prison van and a couple of prison officers. Demand case. And within two minutes, the governor was wondering where that uh, where that could be a hoax. He told himself not to be so silly. He imagined his imagination was was beginning to run dry. Evans, 
for the first quarter of an hour stephens had difficulty uh, dutifully peered through the peep hole at intervals of 1 minute or so and after that every 2 minutes at 10:45 am everything was still all right as he looked through the peep hole once more it took 4 or 5 seconds no more was uh, what was the point it was always more or less the same events his uh, events his pen uh, between his lips sat staring straight in the front of him towards the door seeking it seemed some sorely needed inspiration from somewhere and opposite him mcclary seated slightly asked asked from the table now his face in semi profile his hair at as stephen had noticed earlier amateurishly amateurishly clipped pretty closely to the scalp scalp his eyes behind the people lenses peering short sightedly at the church time his right index finger hooked beneath the narrow clerical collar and the fingers of the left hand the nails meticulously manicured slowly stroking the stock back bit uh, stroking the short black beard at 10:50 am the receiver crackled to the life and the governor released he had almost for, forgotten events for a few minutes events please sir a whisper events please sir louder events uh would you mind if i put a blanket round me shoulders uh, round me shoulders sir it's a bit crackly in there isn't it silence events there's one on me bunk there sir mcclary be quick about it silence at 10:51 am stephens uh, stephens was more than a little surprised to see a gray regulation blanket wrapped around okay. evans mohit stop shoulder. mohit mohit stop akshat okay. beta read further at 10:51 am read from here yes ma'am at 10:51 am Stephen was more than a little surprised to see a grey regulation blanket wrapped around Evans' shoulders, and he frowned slightly and looked at the examinee more closely. But Evans, the pen still between his teeth, was staring just as vacantly as before, blankly beneath her blanket. Should Stephen report the sight irregularity, anything at all, fishy? Hadden Jackson said, "He looked through the peephole once again, and even as he did so, Ivan pulled the dirty blanket more closer to himself. Was he planning a a sudden Batman leap to suffocate Miss Larry in the blanket? Don't be daft. There was never any sun on this side of the prison. No heating." either during the summer months and it could get quite chilly in some of the cells seven did decided to revert to his earlier every minute observation continue at 11:20 at 11:20 the receiver once more crackled across the silence of the governor's office and mcclary's informed ivan that only 5 minutes remained the examination was almost over now but something still ground away quietly in the governor's mind he reached for the phone once more at 11:22 jackson shouted along the corridor to stephen the governor wanted to speak with him hurry man stephen picked up the phone apprehensively and listen to the rapidly spoken orders stephen himself was to accompany mcclary to the main prison gates understood stephen personally was to make absolutely sure that the door was locked on evans after mcclary had left the cell understood understood at 11:25 the governor heard the final exchanges mcclary stop writing please silence mcclary put your teeth put your t- sheets in order and see there are there are correctly numbered silence scraping of chairs and tables evans thank you very much sir 
McLaren. A ride, was it? Evans. Not too bad. McLaren. Good. Mr. Stevens. The governor heard the door clang for the last time. The exam examination was over. How did he get on? Do you think? Asked Stephens as he walked beside McLeary to the main gates. Oh, I cannot think. He is distinguished himself. I am afraid. His Scots ascent seemed broader than ever, and his long black overcoat, which reaching almost to his knees, fostered the illusion that he had suddenly grown slimmer. Stephens felt pleased that the governor had asked him and not Jackson to see McLeary off the premises and all in the morning had gone pretty well. But something stopped him from making his way directly to the canteen for a belated cup of coffee. He wanted to take just one he, he wanted to take just one last look at Evans. It was like a program. He he had seen on TV about a woman who could never really con convince herself that she had locked the front door when she had gone to bed. Often, she got up 12, 15, sometimes even 20 times to check the bolts. He re-entered DV, made his way along to Ivan's Akshat, stop. Akshat, the... stop. Akshat, stop. Okay, now boys, let us see how the story is proceeding. Okay, so just a minute. I'm opening the page that I'm going to start with. 76. 76th, Anna? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it was 9, 10 a.m. When the governor switched on the receiver. So it was 9 10 a.m. when the governor switched on the receiver. Do you remember? Usne ek device lagwai thi cell mein so that he could listen to the conversation that was going on in the cell when Ivans was going to attempt his exam. And Ivans was like upset that how come this all is going to be there? So Stephens and Jackson, Jackson informed him that governor is not going to take any chance upon you. Yeah, Harshit Mohit. So now this is yes, the receiver that this receiver is what I'm talking about that receiver thing. audio device cell so that he's able to listen to all the kind of conversation. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So yes. this is every time now this receiver is referring to that audio device connection governor ke room mein hai. We are coming to know through that. He had instructed Jackson to tell Evans of the temporary little precaution. Temporary little precaution means that everything, everybody who is going to enter in his cell is going to be thoroughly checked. And that was also right. Why? Because uh, as if Evans wouldn't spot it. I uh, means they were telling it, but they also knew that Evans is going to also point it out. But wasn't it all a bit theatrical? Wasn't it all a bit artificial, a schoolboyish kind of? आप लोगों ने देखा जब दिवाली का टाइम आता था पहले का टाइम आप सबको याद हो अपना दो साल पहले दिवाली का टाइम या होली का टाइम आता तो सुन, तो तुम सब के बैक चेक होते थे स्कूल में यस मैम क्यों होते थे क्यों होते थे बैक चेक मैम क्रैकर्स नहीं जाते क्रैकर्स के लिए कलर्स के लिए कि यू पीपल आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू सम न्यूसेंस राइट सो इन द सेम मैनर हियर आल्सो दैट स्कूल बॉयज थिंग इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस दैट एवरीथिंग इनसाइड इवांस cell has been checked and the same would be happening to McLeary also that all his things are going to be checked to avoid or to uh, uh, prevent any kind of chance to be given to Ivans for escape. How on earth was Ivans going to try anything on today? If he was so anxious to make another break, why in heaven's name hadn't he tried it from the recreational block? So uh, now the narrator and the police authorities are thinking that why would Ivan be making such a long, elongated plan to escape. He could have easily done so by the recreational block. It was very, very easy. But he hadn't done so. And there he was now. He was sitting in a locked cell. All the prison officers were on the alert. Very uh, cautious, very particular. Two more locked doors between his cell were there. Inner door, heavier outer door. 
and the yard and a yard with a wall as high as a haystack. Now, what is a haystack, boys? Ma'am, the stack, uh, like a. जो वो नहीं होता गाय भैंसों को जो चारा यस गाय भैंसों को जो चारा खिलाते हैं उसका जो बड़ा सा माउंटेन बन जाता है कॉल्ड अ हेस्टैक यस इवांस वाज एज सेफ एज हाउसेस सो इवांस वाज केप्ट इन ऑल दैट सेफ्टी जनरली देयर इन विच द हाउसेस आर केप्ट वन डोर अनदर डोर देन अ यार्ड एंड देन वॉल विच इज वेरी हाई सो इट देर वॉज नो चांस ऑफ स्केप एनी it would not be any trouble at all to have the receiver turned on for the next couple of hours so the governor imagined that it would be easy it would be really convenient if he is going to keep the receiver on for the next couple of hours so that he can listen to all the conversation going on in ivan's cell it wasn't as if there was going to be anything to listen to it wasn't there that there was something going to be listened to but still for the side of safety measures he was keeping it amongst other things an invigilator's duty was to ensure that the strictest silence was observed and there was still less use of this receiver being on because during the exam generally the invigilators asked to maintain strict silence still the governor had switched on the receiver for the safety side but but still that little nagging doubt so ye to doubt tha na nagging doubt that troubling doubt just because of this doubt the governor had kept the receiver on ki agar maine receiver rakh diya kahin koi important conversation miss na ho jaye might ivan try to take advantage of meclery kahin ivan meclery ka advantage na le get him to smuggle in a chisel or two or a rope ladder means he is saying that kahin aisa na ho that ivan is going to take advantage of meclery get him to smuggle in a chisel means get hold of him with some sharp object like a chisel a two or two or a rope ladder and tries to escape so the governor was sitting up in attention position sharply it was all very well getting rid of any potential weapon so the first step they had done was to get rid to make ivans get rid of any weapon filthy weapon to kill somebody that he could have used but what about meclery meclery could also carry some weapon na but what if quite unwittingly quite unknowingly the innocent meclery had brought in something with himself so now what they are going to do they are going to check meclery's suitcase meclery's costume at everything the dress that he is wearing so that they can avoid any chance to be given to ivans a jack knife perhaps jack knife is a kind of knife with a folding blade tum logon ne dekha generally wo jise ko kehte hain churi कैसे वो एकदम पंच करते हैं और वो शार्प साइड बाहर आ जाती है जनरली जो मूवीज में दिखाते थे पहले सो दैट इज कॉल्ड अ जैक नाइफ यस सो मे बी इज कैरिंग अ जैक नाइफ एंड व्हाट इफ इवांस हेल्ड हिम होस्टेज व्हाट इफ व्हाट विल हैपन इफ इवांस इज गोइंग टू गेट होल्ड ऑफ हिम किडनैप हिम विद सच अ वेपन सो द गवर्नर कॉल्ड आउट विद द फोन इट वॉज नाइन ट्वेल्व एम द एग्जामिनी एग्जामिनी रेफर्स टू इवांस and the invigilator had already been introduced by stephens when jackson again came back to the cell and shouted to meclery through the cell door can you please come out a minute sir you to stephens so he called the meclery and stephens outside now jackson quickly explained governor's orders and his worries so meclery patiently held out his arms at shoulder level while jackson was lightly frisking his clothes frisking his clothes means checking his clothes something hard here sir so he asked something hard is here so he said it is my reading glasses looking down at the spectacle case and jackson quickly opened it reassured himself bending down on the landing thumb flicked the catches of the suitcase and now he bent down his thumb was punching on the corners of the suitcase to open it he picked up each envelope in turn carefully passing his palms he was carefully checking every envelope along their surface to cross check that he was not carrying any sharp object with him he referred cursorily cursorily through a few pages of holy writ so he moved he turned over quickly his pages without giving much attention on the holy writ holy bible kind of thing and vaguely shook the and roughly shook the newspaper the church times so everything was all right so far but one of the objects in meclery suitcase was puzzling him very much what was it so he asked him do you mind telling me do you have a problem in telling me why you have brought this he was asking him about a semi inflated rubber ring balloon rubber ring so he was asking about a semi inflated means not completely inflated 
पूरा फूला हुआ नहीं था एक आधा फूला हुआ रबर का रिंग था सच एज अंग चाइल्ड विद वेस्ट ऑफ अबाउट ट्वेल्व इंचेस माइट एव स्ट्रगल इन टू तो वो जो रिंग था वो इतना था कि एक बारह साल का बच्चा अगर उसमें घुसने की कोशिश करे वो सॉरी छोटा सा बच्चा जिसकी बारह इंचेस की वेस्ट होती है अगर वो उसमें घुसने की कोशिश करे तो मुश्किल से घुस पाएगा वो रिंग ऐसा था यू थिंक ऑफ गोइंग फॉर अ स्विम सर सो ही आज आर यू गोइंग आर यू प्लानिंग फॉर गोइंग फॉर अ स्विमिंग सर मै क्लेरी हियर मीन्स मै क्लेरी हु वॉज हैविंग अ वेरी एमिएबल लविंग प्लेजेंट बिहेवियर वॉज स्लाइटली अपसेट रफल मीन्स स्लाइटली अपसेट विद दिस क्वेश्चन वाई बिकॉज he answered jackson very rudely if you know it already i suffer from hemorrhoids hemorrhoids are the problem of piles the people with a problem of piles are not able to sit with long sit on in a particular position for a long time so he is saying that when i am sitting down for any length for, of time then i then it causes me pain that's why i carry this rubber ring so that it can, it can uh, help me sitting conveniently so he said okay very sorry sir i didn't mean to hurt your feelings the embarrassment was still reddening jackson cheek so the embarrassment of the question raised by him was still there on his cheeks his cheeks were flushing when he found the paper knife at the bottom of the case so now he found a paper knife at the bottom of the case i think i should be keeping this with me if you don't mind sir now it was 918 before the governor heard their voices again so now at 918 governor heard their voices again and it was clear that the examination was going to be a little late 915 was the time to for the exam to start but it was already late and it was going to be little more late because they were going on with their checking mcclary now asked evans have you got a watch evan said yes sir so mcclary said okay i'll be telling you the time when you are going to start and again i'll tell you the time when only 5 minutes are left a right means all right all right so silence mcclary there is plenty more of this writing paper should you need it so i have got plenty more of answer sheets if you need them uh next uh there is yes mohit you raised hand ma'am is bahut zyada matlab alag se thode words use ho wo beta abbreviated words hain because it is having the influence of german side that's why Okay. So now write the name of the paper. So now he has given the code of the paper zero two one one in the top left hand corner, and then he says silence in the top right hand corner. Write your index number, and then in the box below that, write your center number. जैसे आप लोग लिखते हो tenth के exam में आप लोगों ने लिखा था ना code of exam, then center number, school code, all these things. So he is again asking. All right, silence nine twenty a.m. Now Ivan McClary says I am now going to. He is going to stay here. Is he? अब यहाँ पे ये कौन है? Who is he? Who is Evans referring to as he here? ये जो e है e refers to he, not McClary. McClary is invigilator. McClary तो रहेगा ही रहेगा. मैम फिर वो किसकी बात? Stephens की. Yes. He does not want Stephens to be there to disturb his concentration. So he asked, is he going to stay? He is not going to stay here. Is he? Mcclary said, "I I don't know about it. I have no idea." Stephen says, "Mr. Jackson has given me instruction to stay here." Evans now says, "How can I write and concentrate on my exam when somebody somebody is there standing around me, just below, down my neck, very near to me?" Christ, sorry, sir, I didn't mean to hurt you, but I can't give my exam this way. Now the governor reached for the phone. So the governor was listening to all this conversation. So he reached for the phone and he quickly gave the order to Jackson. Oh, good. Get Stephens out of that cell. So he finally gave the order to Jackson to remove Stephens out of that cell. I think perhaps we are overdoing things. I think we are over exaggerating the things. We need to take it very normally. So Jackson said, "Okay, sir, as you wish." Now the governor heard the conversation in the cell, heard the door clang once more. Means Stephens had gone out, and heard McClary announce that the examination was finally going to begin. So what was the time? It was nine twenty-five a.m. and again there was a great silence. At nine forty a.m., the examination board. Do you remember German का जो examination board था? वहाँ से call आती है. They rang, and the assistant secretary with special responsibility for modern languages 
रिक्वेस्टेड टू स्पीक टू द गवर्नर क्यों उसने कॉल क्यों किया था इसमें असिस्टेंट सेक्रेटरी ने कॉल क्यों किया था मैम स्टार्ट करने के लिए नहीं नहीं करेक्शन बताने के लिए कोई करेक्शन थी पेपर में सो ही वांटेड टू इन्फॉर्म अबाउट द करेक्शन राइट अब देखो गवर्नर के मन में कैसे कैसे डाउट आने वाले हैं द एग्जामिनेशन हेड ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड नो डाउट अ क्वार्टर ऑफ एन आवर अगो सो ही इन्फॉर्म दैट 45 फाइव मिनट बैक द एग्जामिनेशन हेज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड येस वेल देर वॉज अ करेक्शन स्लिप विद समूल हेड फॉर गॉटन टू प्लेस इन द एग्जामिनेशन पैकेज so now he informed that there was some correction in the paper and the correction slip was not kept in the exam package so now he requested very brief correction it is can you please allow us to talk to the invigilator or the student who is giving the exam yes of course i'll put you straight through to mr jackson and dwin hold the line a minute so governor said okay i'll pass your call to mr jackson and the dwin hold the line for a minute now in the meantime he was going to pass on the call so many doubts came to his mind was this sort of the thing of governor had feared kya yahi sab tha jisse wo darr raha tha was the phone call a fake it was a fake phone call was it going to give some signal to ivans to leave some secret message for him but he could easily check that immediately so he dialed the number of the examination board and heard the staccato beep bleeps of a line engage aapne kabhi suna जब हम किसी का फोन ट्राई करते हैं इवन मोबाइल फोन एंड व्हेन द पर्सन इज स्पीकिंग टू समबडी एल्स आजकल तो वो वी हियर दैट लेडी टॉकिंग ना दैट द पर्सन यू आर ट्राइंग टू कॉल इज स्पीकिंग टू समवन एल्स प्लीज ट्राई आफ्टर सम टाइम है ना पहले क्या होता था व्हेन द फोन वाज बिजी इट यूज टू बीप लाइक टू 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 कंटिन्यूस बीपिंग यूज टू गो ऑन दैट द पर्सन इज बिजी ऑन विथ सम अदर कॉल पता है सबको सो दैट इज कॉल्ड अट अ बीप ऑफ अ लाइन एंगेज but then the line was engaged wasn't it yes not very intelligent so he said no no this is not a very good idea to reassure yourself two minutes later he heard some whispered communication in the cell now some low mob kind of speaking was going on in the cell and then mcclary's broad scots voice and then he heard mcclary's scottish voice will you please stop writing the v while will you st- please stop writing for a while mr rivans and listen carefully candidates who have been offered 0 to 1 1 should note the following correction on page 3 line 15 the fourth word yes the fourth word should read goldenen not goldene and the whole phrase will therefore read zum goldenen loven not zum goldene loven so this was the thing i think jin logon ne tumme se kisne french padhi hai kabhi 10 tak no ma'am acha 8 tak padhi hai 8 tak padhi hai french padhi hai to tum logo ko pata hoga ek stress aur ek word se wahan pe meaning change ho jata hai word ka hota hai aise hi german mein bhi hota hai so the governor listened yes. and smiled that okay now he assured himself that everything is all right there was some correction so he had taken german Ja, the governor had also read german in the sixth form himself and he remembered about all the agreements of adjectives so did mcclary by the sound of things for the minister's pronunciation was most impressive so now he was assured that there was definitely a correction because mcclary was pronouncing everything so well but what about ivans he probably did not know what an adjective was so now he was thinking that does ivan know so well about all those things maybe he doesn't know what is an adjective even the phone rang again now it was a call from magistrate's court they needed a prison van and a couple of prison officers remand case it was a remand case kisi ko pakad ke lana tha and within 2 minutes the governor was wondering whether that could be a hoax hoax means false trick now in 2 minutes governor was thinking koi iske sath mazak to nahi kar raha he told himself not to be so silly his imagination was beginning to run riot so his imagination was going on in one or the other direction and most of the time negative ivans for the first quarter of an hour stephens had dutifully peered through the peep hole and why he called out the name ivans because governor was thinking that all his imagination is corrupted just because he is continuously thinking about ivans now for the first 45 hours stephens was dutifully peering through the peep hole he was looking through the peep hole at intervals of 1 minute or so 
and after that every 2 minutes so now it was time 10:45 am everything was very calm all right as he looked through the peep hole once more it took 4 or 5 seconds no more what was the point it was always more or less the same ivans his pen between his lips sat staring straight in front of him towards the door so ivans was keeping his pen between his lips jaise tum log rakh lete ho na jab ko soch rahe hote ho pen lips ke beech mein kai bar wo teeth ke beech mein bhi chala jata so he was sitting there staring in front of the door seeking it seemed some sorely needed inspiration from somewhere as if he was looking for some inspiration from somewhere just a minute yes uh, i'm sorry there was some uh, somebody at the door so i had to go and attend okay so now for the first quarter everything was seeming fine and he was staring straight in front of the door ivans was it seemed some sorely needed inspiration was required jaisa tum log nahi karte tum logon ne kabhi cheating ki hai exam mein sachchi sachchi batana जब लास्ट में पेपर में नहीं आता होता तो हम ये देख रहे होते ये इनविजिलेटर यहाँ से हटे मैम यहाँ से हटे तो मैं नजरें घुमा के किसी से इशारे इशारे में पूछूं किया है कभी यस बॉयस हैव यू डन लाइक दैट नो मैम कभी नहीं किया कि मैम आगे से हटे तो मैं इतनी देर तक हम एक्टिंग करते रहते हम सोच रहे हैं सोच रहे हैं किसी चीज की तरफ देख के ये वेट में कि मैम आगे से हटेंगी तो हम ये देख पाएंगे कि एक्चुअली किसके पास आंसर पूछने का स्कोप है किससे आंसर पूछा जा सकता है किया है अक्षत ने तो अनम्यूट ही नहीं किया कि मैम पूछेंगे फिर मैं क्या जवाब दूंगा तो किया तो मैम मैम बहुत बार किया है बहुत बार किया है तो जैसे तुम लोगों को देख के लगता है ना कि पता नहीं क्या दीवार पे देख के सोच रहे हो तो इवानस वॉज ऑल्सो लुकिंग इन द सेम मैनर एंड ऑपोजिट टू हिम मैकलेरी वॉज सीटेड स्लाइटली अस्क्यू फ्रॉम द टेबल नाउ अब अस्क्यू का मतलब क्या है अ लिटिल अप नॉट इन अ स्ट्रेट और लेवल पोजिशन अब वो सीधा नहीं बैठा था हल्का सा टेढ़ा होके बैठा था टेबल पे हिज फेस इन सेमी प्रोफाइल सेमी प्रोफाइल मीन्स हिज फेस वॉज नॉट शोइंग दैट ही वॉज कंफर्टेबल हिज हेयर एज स्टीफन एट नोटिस अर्लियर एम इट यूरली क्लिप्ड प्रिटी क्लोजली टू द स्का और उसके हेयर जो थे दे वर नॉट प्रॉपरली मेड अप विद द स्कल means they are not properly made up his hair and they were clipped in a very rough manner kiddish manner to the skull his eyes behind the pebble lenses peering short sightedly at the church times and his eyes behind those lenses were looking short sightedly jaise hum aankhe jhuka jhuka ke nahi dekhte aankhe michka ke dekhte hain chhot choti karke aankhe at the newspaper his right index finger hooked beneath the narrow clerical collar and his index finger was there beneath his clerical collar and the fingers of the left hand the nails meticulously manicured slowly stroking the short black beard and with his other hand he was moving his hand through his short black beard so now everything is up till now going fine right the exam is going to be over very soon 10:45 it is already there and soon the exam is going to be over so everything is fine mcclary is invigilating stephens has already checked many a times so now after this we are going to see that what kind of conversation because now the climax is going to start the final climax of the story is going to reach when ivans and all that confusion is going to start up with so with page number 79 we will start with a thing in the next class fine and please try to attend the class don't try to skip it <laughs>